Okay, guys, after the video, don't forget to click on my name in the video description below. Head on over to my site and click on the video tab and check out the other archived videos. I have over 100 plus videos on my site. So anyway, enjoy the video and thank you for, uh, thank you for your time. guys welcome back to jack of all trades today we're going to show you how to do 7.1 dts hdma through the motherboard jacks as you see i got 1.4 millimeter jacks split off into stereo pairs going into my den and amp and i have 7.1 speakers you'll notice that there's a center channel there that's not turned on because that was part of my old 6.1 system so what we're going to show you guys is how to do the analog 7.1 lsl PCM decoding uh, So that way you guys can have a true HTCP computer hooked up to your amp now with this amp like I said had 7.1 uh, digital uh, uh, Inputs or analog inputs. So anyway, you're gonna go over here if you're new to this what we're talking about is we're talking about DTS HD this type of logo on the back of your blu-ray discs. We're gonna show you how to do this uh, direct so you don't have to like use MKV to uh, uh, extract the core you can just go DTSMA direct you're gonna go to my site download the links in the video description you're gonna get this file called DTS decoder dill dot dill we're gonna take it unrar it copy it into the lab folder in your Windows directory usually it's Windows program files and then uh, look for the lab folder, lab filters, and we're going to paste it in that folder. What this file does is it allows you to decode the 7.1 master track instead of just getting the DTS core. So now before we uh, configure that, we're going to configure our speakers. Now you could be using Sound Blaster or built-in motherboard. I'm using built-in motherboard. I'm going to uh, make sure that my seven speakers are plugged in on my 7.1 which is LFE sub into my motherboard and if you're not familiar uh, you can order these cheap speaker packages and do the same thing now I have this hooked up to a professional uh, audio system but we're gonna select 7.1 enable base management and we're gonna set our speaker distances to our listening position and our decibel levels with test tones like use a test tone and uh, you can download an application on your cell phone for a sound meter you're going to run the test tone and bring it up to a level and match all your speakers so what we're going to do now is we're going to set the speakers to default in windows now this is going to port all the sound out through the back of the Realtek motherboard and right now it's, it's only porting out stereo so now this program here is covered on my uh, YouTube channel it just allows you easy installation of the FD show codecs. So if you haven't watched the video, you can just go to my YouTube page and uh, watch the how to set up Mad VR in MPC. Follow that tutorial and then uh, go over and uh, watch the other video, which is the uh, how to set up compression codecs and install FD show and configure it the exact same way in the video. And what that'll do is uh, it'll set it up to do the DTS part of the uh, codec. So you can just see it right there on the Home Theater 101 playlist. There's tons of videos in there. Check them out if you want. Uh, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. So once you have all that set up, we're going to load up MPC. And you'll see here, Mad VR. And under the audio renderer, we're going to select speakers, Realtek. And that's going to port it out to 7.1 into the speakers on the back of your motherboard or your sound card. And you see here transform filters are all unchecked and source filters are all checked. You're not going to touch any of the lav filter settings. Even though some of it sounds like you need to touch it, don't touch it. And on the internal filters, we're going to add our filter, our lav filter, 
you don't have live filters you download the latest version online and install them and then add it here and then select the prefer tab when you're gonna do this so now we're gonna run a test file the movie I'm using I think it's called Mordecai it's got 7.1 true DTS HDMA unconverted so I'm gonna show you right now you'll see the extra output PCM 7.1 uncompressed that's your analog 7.1 dedicated channels going to the back of your motherboard and the other two files are the actual codec so you can do this two ways you can go into your motherboard have the computer decode DTS HDMA or you can do pass through which has been done for a while and you, if you have an amp with an HDMI output you just hook it up to the HDMI cable into the amp and the amplifier will decode but what I'm doing here is MPC is decoding the 7.1. I have Cubase loaded up. I'm using an M Audio 1010 LT card with eight channel dedicated in, just to show you this that it's working. Eight are going in, and on the other right side, eight are going out. And you're gonna see eight dedicated channels. So there's dedicated surround. And there you go. So we got eight channels going out and it's playing in real time into my amplifier you can't hear it right now due to copyright I'm not gonna play it or show the video and uh, but I just wanted to show you that it is possible in an MPC player to do DTS HD MA decoding 7.1 uh, and have it all isolated in a computer system so you can sit on your couch and enjoy your movies anyway guys thank you for watching have a good day